But yes, Yolanda. Yolanda's an interesting game. The eleventh label is to fetch the golden apples of... Was it? Hesperides? These grew on a tree which stood on Mount Atlas and was guarded by the... Hesperides and the dragon laid on. <laughs> Hercules persuaded Atlas to obtain the apples for him, while he himself upheld the celestial globe. Hercules was a little bit busy. Or was it Atlas? I'm guessing Atlas. No? Or was Hercules holding it for Atlas? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, Atlas returned with three apples and tried to avoid taking back the burden of the globe. Oh, there we go. Let's see, there we go. Atlas doesn't want to carry the world anymore. I mean, it's probably very heavy. Um, but Hercules, by a ruse, transferred it back to the giant's shoulders, took the apples, and hastened away. <laughs> so he's just like, oh, I'll hold this for you for a bit. You go and grab some apples. And then he comes back and he's like, ah, I tricked you. Bye. Okay. Ah, right, okay, so the panic music <laughs> is how long you have to get off the platforms before they turn into fire. Okay. Oh, no, didn't do that. Okay, so as you can probably see, we're loading at different levels because we're loading at the different labours. And if we manage to get through uh, the different labours, <laughs> the levels, then we'll, we'll continue on to different levels within that labour. It, it's... Yeah. So the tenth labour was to fetch the oxen of Gerion without either demand or payment. Gerion was a powerful monster with three bodies, living on the island of Erythea. His cattle were guarded not only by herdsmen, but also by the two-headed dog Orthrus. Hercules felled both of these with his club, and then overcame Gerion and sailed away with his cattle. On his journey back through Gowie? Gavi? Gowie? Maybe Gowie? Yeah, it looks like the same as the game. Uh, so, uh, on his journey back through Gowie, Italy... Oh, oh my gosh. Illyris... 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 Illyricum and Thrace. I'm guessing there are other places. He resisted many attempts to steal the cattle and eventually handed them over to Eurystheus, who sacrificed them to Hera. So lots of ancient god stuff going... <laughs> this is a good game, but it's one of those, you've got to get this right, right now kind of games. <laughs> so it's, 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 yeah, it's interesting. So the ninth labour was to fetch for Admi Admi Admit Admiti, daughter of you. I've said this twice now. Speedrun, yes, yeah, speedrun strats are just to, to die constantly. <laughs> daughter of Eurystheus, uh, the golden girdle that Hi Hippolyte, queen of the Amazons, had received from Ares. After an event eventful journey, Hercules reached the land of the Amazons, where Hipp Hippolyte re received him kindly and promised him the girdle. But Hera roused the Amazons, and they attacked Hercules. In the fight, he killed their leaders and, Hi and Hippolyte herself, from whom he took the girdle. On his way home, Hercules came to Troy, where he rescued L Le oh, sorry. Le Leomy... Leom Leomy... Leomy... Leomedon's daughter, oh my god, uh, Hesione, <laughs> from a sea monster sent by Poseidon. Gosh, that Poseidon, always sending those sea monsters. Okay, so, I think, yep, yeah, there we go. I managed to not die. I mean, you've heard of Nintendo Hard. This is Yolanda Hard. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> Yolanda dies a sad death. <laughs> player one, your score was zero, which is too low for you to gain a place on the high score table. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not surprised, really. <laughs> Programmed by Chris Sorrell, graphics by Levan Archer. It's 
gone by too quickly. There's probably a pause button that I could use as well, but... Uh, Okay, so, <clears throat> the sixth labour was to free the marshy lake of Stymphalia in Arcadia of the Stymphalian birds, very large man-eating creatures with gigantic beaks, claws and wings who use their feathers as arrows. Sound quite dangerous. Some accounts say that Hercules shot the birds down, others claim that he frightened them away to the island of Aretas in the Black Sea later to be encountered by the Argonauts. Both versions admit that for this task he solicited the assistance of Pallas Athene, the goddess of beauty and war, and the very embodiment of wisdom and power. Now, Pallas, um, isn't that uh, the, the bust that's in the Raven? A pallid bust of Pallas. And so, goddess of beauty and war, I mean, it kind of fits into the rayon. Um, yeah. So, and you, you thought you were watching a game about a fox, and now it's suddenly gone on to... What is this? Is it Greek? Myth? What's the other one? Roman. Probably Greek, then. Um, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit shaky on that whole thing. Um, and then also going into uh, poetry by way of Greek and Roman. Okay, fine. And yeah, you're wondering why it's talking about Hercules a lot. And then we've got Yolanda here. I think Yolanda is following the trials of Hercules for some reason. I don't know. I, I wasn't prepared for this. I mean, I'm generally not prepared for these things, which I'm kind of just doing random looking at. But anyway, let's look and see how fast I die here. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's how fast I die. Okay, so the tenth one, we've been here before. And it probably went similar to that before. Jeez. <laughs> ah, okay, so the first labour was to bring back the skin of the Nemean lion, which was devastating the valley of Nemea. This lion was a huge creature with a hide so tough that no weapon could pierce it. Hercules strangled the lion with his bare hands <laughs> and later flayed it with his own claws. Wow. I mean, is it talking about the lion's claws or Hercules' claws? Because that's quite a thing. And donned the skin. Okay. Eurystheus was so terrified at this, I mean, I can, I can believe that, that he now took refuge in a brazen urn below the earth whenever Hercules approached. <laughs> I mean, that Hercules does sound incredibly scary. <laughs> okay, get off the ground. <laughs> of course. Back to the tenth labour. Yeah, we got that ready. And then we fall down here. Okay, this is going better. Okay, there's a door up there. Oh, invisible platforms. Oh! best I'd done so far. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Did we go? Yeah, the sixth lake. The, the, the. Yeah, I know. That was actually pretty good. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. The fourth label was to capture alive the Arimanthian boar, which was ravaging Sophis. Uh, Hercules pursued the boar, drove it into a snowdrift, then bound it with chains and carried it back to Eurystheus. It was around this time that the Argonauts were preparing to sail for Colchis and Hercules rushed to join them. Okay, off the ground. This might have been the wrong way because I, I really kind of think I want to go that way. <clears throat> ah, so the seventh labour <laughs> was to capture the Cretan bull. Poseidon had sent the bull to Minos to, for sacrifice but he had substituted another, and it was now ravaging the island. Now, Minos, is that why the, where the Minotaur was? Anyway, so Hercules did not avail himself of Minos offers, or Minos's, I guess, then, offers of help. But Minos. So Minos is a person, not a place. Okay. You don't... Okay. 
Hercules did not avail himself to Minos' offer of help, but captured the bull single-handed and took it back to Eurystheus, who set it free again. It ran through Greece to Marathon, where Theseus captured it and took it to Athens for a sacrifice to Athene. So we're touching on a lot of the... Uh, <coughs> We're touching on a lot of the mythology here, and I know very little of it. <laughs> um, did I say this one? The girdle, yes, the girdle, of course. Okay, so that was safe enough. Okay, door, door, door! Yes! Oh, now what? Oh no. Ah, <laughs> just missed it. <laughs> I have achieved a high score. Somehow just going through that one door got me 10,770 points. Can I? Yes, I can. And it's got the little scroll thingy at the bottom. If I wanted to, but I can type it in as well. Yeah, look, I'm top of the high score, Nabel. Nabel? 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 <laughs> Table. Yay! <laughs> Whew. Right, so yeah, you can see how interesting this game is. Uh, can I not do anything now? Do I need to... We stopped, we're broken. 